Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up Express Checkout and why you should consider it for your store. There are more reasons than the one that Squarespace puts on their site. So I wanna walk you through that and show you the options you have, how to get it set up, and what to think about when you do set it up. Cool. We are here on my website right now, which I'm just so excited about showing you this because this feature is actually helping us grow our business and our conversion rate. Check this out. So if someone comes to our store and they want to make a purchase, once they hit purchase, we have a form that they fill out really quick. So I'm just going to drop an email in there. Enter. Once they add it, you'll see that this takes them to check out immediately. I already had a product in my cart, so that's why you see that there. But it literally takes them to check out immediately. Now, the reason I like this is because when we sell services, typically when somebody buys a service, they're just buying the service. Yes, they can buy some of our other digital downloads and things like that. We do sell multiple products, but for the most part, if they buy a service, I want to get them to the cart as soon as possible. I don't want to get them lost on like, where did the cart icon go or how do I check out or next steps, especially if someone's doing this on their phone. I want to make the process as easy as possible. So this almost forces them to check out quicker. And if they do need to go back, they just go back and you'll see now the items still are in the cart. So they still exist. But anytime they add an item to their cart, it'll take them to check out immediately. This is what they call express checkout and Squarespace recommends this if you have one product in your store. But for me, I think it's actually good if you only have one product in your store or if you're selling things that are services that once they add it, you want to get them to check out immediately. If you don't have this, they'll have to click on it, add it to their cart, go to the cart, then hit checkout, and then start the process. So let me show you how to set this up on the back end of my demo website here. Uh, if I click on shop and someone comes in here and they look at these shoes and they say, hey, I really want to buy these shoes. Uh, right here once i hit add to cart this is why it just adds it which is cool but i'd have to go up here and find it then once they find it they click on it and i know i just said this but i want to show you now because i can then they could hit checkout and then they'll get taken to the checkout page so this is how you set it up you go to commerce and then you scroll down and then click on checkout and then there are a ton of options here but you're going to scroll until you see this express checkout. And so if you check this box and hit save, it'll do what my site does, which is great. So now when someone comes in here and they purchase a product on the cart, boom, it takes them to check out immediately. Now there's no way to control this for certain products and other products not. I wish there was, but as of right now, express checkout is either an on or off site wide feature. So you do wanna keep a few things in mind. This is really good for single product stores. This is also really good for services or products where people aren't gonna be buying multiple. Let's say you have a, a site that you sell $4,000 watches on it. Hey, maybe people are buying a few, but if your typical customer is only buying one, well, you could do some type of express checkout like this. Uh, anything where the checkout process can be smoother, I just recommend making it smoother. This does add a bit of a complication to, uh, let's say, clients who are trying to buy a few things from me, but I think it's worth it, especially if I'm landing more service-based projects that are at a higher ticket value. So let me show you one more method where this is really valuable. So here I am on my services page. This is our, our store. Some of these are digital downloads. So something like this blogging starter kit is a digital download. So if I click on this, this page is actually not the page where I have the sales funnel or the marketing page because the product page is just not the most ideal for that. And so what I have here is learn more about the blogging starter kit and then all that. So if they click on this, it takes them to the page I actually advertise, the page I actually use to show people where they can get this uh, product at. On this page here, when they click purchase now, this is a product block. I'll show you the back end in a moment. But when they click on this, it doesn't take them through that whole cart process. It takes them immediately to check out. Once they fill in these like quick details to get them started and then 
Google purchase, adding, cart, checkout. It does all of that immediately. So it makes that checkout process a lot smoother for them, especially with the product block, because this is just a page that overviews it. Like if I go to our designer starter kit, let's go back here and go to the designer starter kit, learn more. Once I'm in here, perfect. Like this video is here, people can watch it, learn more, but at a certain point they could click purchase now and they'd be good to go. Perfect, so let me show you the back end of this so you can see it. So once I click edit in here, you'll see this is a product block. So uh, Squarespace has this thing when you click the plus sign or you add a block, it's just called product, this right here. And then you could add in certain things. So you select the product you want, you could edit it, select what you want, then you go to design. And then it gives you all these options. You could add the image, the title, description. I just want the button because the whole page is designed by me to be exactly what I want it to be. I just want the button so that when they click purchase, it adds it to the cart and takes them to the next step. It gives me a ton of control. I could also, I also have it down here. So another product block right here, which again, same thing, gives me a ton of control where I want to put it, how I want to control it. Beautiful, clean, and simple. And that feature as well with the express checkout is gold. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.